What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and uh, here we're sharing uh, some ideas about a frugal lifestyle. Uh, hot hello uh, from Siberia. All, uh, hot hello all the way from Novosibirsk city. I, I, did star, uh, I started this channel um, just recently and I decided uh, that uh, the Ser series of uh, videos uh, about uh, my city would be uh, the good way to explain how I can uh, maintain my uh, frugal lifestyle, my financial habits, uh, how uh, these habits uh, place on the on the ground, uh, you know, like practical way um, so uh, hopefully also for some of you it would be the new perspective uh, on Siberia the new way of uh, um, of uh, MA, uh, of perception about this place and the new perception uh, of this place uh, uh, or about this place sorry uh, and I just uh, I was thinking about uh, what could be the most common association with Novosibirsk city, uh, and uh, on the background you can see uh, the outcome of my um, of my thinking process. Uh, the opera theater um, with Russian ballet probably would be the most common uh, association, the most common hallmark of Novosibirsk city, uh, at least uh, here in Russia and in Siberia, I mean, at least here in Siberia and uh, in Russia in general. Well, I wouldn't say that uh, the vast majority of uh, Russian people are really uh, aware about uh, Novosibirsk, but uh, I guess uh, this hallmark is uh, must have a place to visit uh, if, if you if you are uh, if you if you are in Novosibirsk city. Uh, well, uh, let's take uh, without further ado. <laughs> let's dive right in. Let's uh, hit the ground running. I'll show you a little bit uh, another year. Uh, I. I, I don't have uh, a ticket to go inside, uh, hopefully uh, in the future. Or you can also uh, find, uh, surf internet and find a website and they have, uh, I believe, a lot of pictures of inner year. Uh, well, uh, first of all, there are uh, a city center uh, lie right in the heart of the, uh, right in the heart of Novosibirsk city uh, this building was uh, accomplished right uh, in the end of uh, the end, in the end of world war 2 and that's why uh, that's uh, and another reason why um, why this object, this particular, particularly uh, this particular object, um, associates um, with with the, with the city because uh, the World War II was uh, the game changer and the turning point in the history of uh, of Novosibirsk. So. Uh, Novosibirsk is a is a melting pot of cultures, and uh, people in Siberia speak in 40 different languages. Ten of them are official. Uh, my grandfather um, spoken only uh, in Ukrainian, 
and uh, my first language is Russian uh, even though I have um, I have uh, uh, Jewish uh, Jewish Christian roots um, but uh, uh, at the same time uh, it's a melting pot of cultures and I guess uh, the World War II and fight with Nazis was uh, uh, was uh, really important for uh, for population uh, for Russian population in general because uh, people in Russia speak in hundred in one hundred twenty five different languages and twenty five of them are official but uh, particularly for Novosibirsk city. Uh, uh, this time around, it's definitely a sort of uh, unofficial, unofficial uh, capital of Siberia. So let's take a more closer look at this. The, uh, this territory is uh, is pretty spacious. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't be able to show you all of this, but. There are a lot of greenery outside, uh, really nice flowers, and uh, people uh, are hanging on with each other. Lux, uh, they're uh, going to, to relax with uh, friends and chatting with friends, and also it's uh, good. Uh, uh, area for recreational activities. Uh, here we have some uh, different zones. Uh, outdoor. And one of this is this culture of I guess I'm not really sure. But no, I probably I was wrong. How called this place? Uh, this um, thing, but it's definitely uh, has something to do with with music and. Here we go. Sometimes I I love language, um, but it's safe to say that with uh, with. Uh, Precisely with this uh, instrument, uh, I mean, with, with uh, instrument like this, uh, with an instrument like this, the the King David play, played to to the King Saul, if you are familiar with. Bible stories. Yeah. So, uh, also people well uh, speaking about culture. I would say that uh, the culture in Siberia, a part of a mountain pot of cultures <laughs> uh, and, and friendliness uh, to, to immigrants, uh, I, I would say uh, this is, is really open culture. I mean, for instance, take some uh, to give you some example. 
uh, and to give you an example uh, recently I I made the video about Leroy Merlin uh, it's it's a DI, DIY uh, shopping mall do-it-yourself shopping mall here in Novosibirsk city and I I just I remember that uh, one moment was really interesting in this shopping mall, uh, Leroy Merlin. Uh, I, uh, I just, uh, I've seen that they put, uh, they put a post, uh, poster or a banner with uh, theirs. Uh, uh, Chief, uh, Chief Executive Officer uh, with their uh, director uh, of this uh, shopping mall uh, near the uh, cashier's zone uh, and it uh, on the poster was uh, a picture and um, it, was, it said that uh, Elvira Lee uh, Lee is definitely uh, uh, has something to do with uh, Asian roots. Uh, Elvira Lee is uh, CEO of this shopping mall, and I just uh, I was thinking about um, I was thinking about uh, the culture, um, and I guess uh, it's safe to say that in here in Siberia. And I would say, in Russia in general, uh, you easily can find the uh, the famous uh, politician like uh, Irina Kamada uh, with Japanese roots, uh, or uh, the owner of uh, uh, or or the richest women in Russia. Tatiana Bakalchuk, uh, who founded Wildberries uh, online uh, retail uh, online retail shop, uh, largest player, uh, one of the largest players in the uh, uh, Russian e-commerce market, uh, with a capitalization more than a uh, billion, or probably a few billion dollars. Oh, sorry, it was more than 10 billion dollars actually capitalization and uh, she founded uh, this uh, eight pound uh, 800 pounds gorilla in the online uh, shopping uh, market in Russia so look at this piano <laughs> I mean artificial piano uh, like it covered uh, like grass So, uh, I guess uh, female uh, female factor uh, from uh, all the history, I would say Russia. It's pretty important. Uh, it's pretty it is uh, really important uh, because uh, the Russian uh, the Russian Academy of Science the Russian Academy of Science was founded by. Um, Yekaterina Dashkova, uh, Kate Dashkova, uh, in, in the late 18th century, and uh, it was the first women uh, on the, in, in Russian government, uh, a part of uh, a part of royal uh, royal family, and if if you think about that, just imagine uh, late of 18th century, it, it's this time around uh, we've seen uh, we've seen uh, uh, French Revolution and um, it it was actually the early days of Euro European science 
maybe sort of renaissance of re European science, but uh, mm, late of 18th century, and uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, it, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I. It's safe to say. It's safe to say that all of these objects, I mean, all of this uh, infrastructure of so former socialism, all of the all of Russian uh, institutes uh, were affected by uh, female factor um, and also by the role of women, by the role of women in uh, Russian history, um, uh, the, one of the heroes uh, of, uh, uh, of the uh, of Napoleon wars uh, or, or wars uh, against Napoleon, uh, 1812. Uh, one of the uh, common examples uh, is uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, is uh, officer Durova. Uh, uh, she has the same surname like Pavel Durov, uh, uh, who uh, the founder of Telegram uh, Messenger and the founder of uh, BK Kontakte. It's Russian Facebook. Uh, so um, um, Miss Miss Durova was one of the heroes of the of the wars against Napoleon uh, Bonaparte. Uh, so uh, speaking about Russian ballet, I guess uh, this uh, this fear, particularly this fear. Uh, hard to imagine without uh, without Diaghilev who <coughs> who put Russian ballet to Paris and who represented uh, Russian ballet to the world uh, and at the same time uh, I'm a bit in this field, but uh, I, I'm very sure that uh, uh, Ru Russia has so many incredible uh, art uh, actors in, in ballet, in, in ballet, and uh, even now, uh, even this time around, uh, one of the popular Russian celebrities uh, is uh, Anastasia Polashkova. Uh, she is definitely uh, um, she, it's safe to say that uh, uh, she could be um, uh, she She could be uh, provocative, and maybe uh, it could be uh, uh, it could be a lot of uh, pro and cons uh, and uh, uh, rumors about her personality. But at the end of the day, uh, I guess it's incredibly interesting. It's really interesting that in the 21th century. We can uh, we can see celebrities from this particular area from ballet. So uh, that would be um, on the background. By the way, you can see uh, a Marriott uh, Marriott Hotel Hotel Marriott Hotel. It has also uh, uh, great in. Uh, Exterior and good architecture. 
style and um, I guess um, the, um, the few steps uh, would my, my last few steps in this video would be This columns also. And also, as you can as you can see, um, uh, the the people uh, on this uh, on this uh, under under the entrance also represents different folks different uh, different nations you know it's it's safe to say that all elements uh, are are uh, all elements just give us the the Give, give us uh, all elements. Give us uh, the proof of my statement that Siberia is, is a mountain pot of cultures, is a home for dozens nations and maybe even hundreds of nations and. Yeah, uh, well, and here's some element, interesting. So, uh, welcome to, to the center of Siberia. And on the background, you can see the status of uh, Lenin and also the status of uh, of communist era uh, uh, the municipal authorities uh, didn't uh, didn't destroy this after the, even when uh, Berlin Wall uh, was fell down uh, uh, and I guess if you if you are sixty of uh, uh, of uh, uh, impressions of uh, Soviet style, you also can easily find it here. Uh, so that would be my take on the uh, on the. Russian Ballet on the Opera Theater. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming along and uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Uh, feel free to press a thumb up and uh, put your comments and, uh, and questions um, in the comments below. Uh, uh, thank you very much, guys, and have an awesome day.